Hello and welcome to Woke Watch, an ongoing series of videos where I find the wokest stories on the internet and together we can pick them apart to expose wokeness for what it is. Usually people with nothing better to do than get offended for the sake of getting offended. And it should come as no surprise that this story comes from the world of academia, although oddly not from a university in the UK, from Stanford University, California, USA. A few days ago, Stanford published a list of over a hundred words and phrases which it has now banned because nothing says wokeness like I don't like it so you can't say it. The university claim that this contains archaic hateful language. So let's go through a few of the words which have been banned and see what the alternative suggestions are. First up, walk in has been replaced with either drop in or open office. The reason that walk in apparently is offensive is it's ableist and will offend people in wheelchairs. Now, I will put money on it, not a single wheelchair user has ever fucking complained about the term walk in. They tend to be more concerned with things like ramps so they can have access to buildings. And also, here in the UK, we have a number of doctor's surgeries and hospitals which are known as walk in centres. But if you think about it logically, the time you're least likely to be able to walk somewhere is when you need to go to the fucking hospital. Next up, guru is to be replaced with subject matter expert. The reason being that guru in Hinduism and Buddhism is a term of respect and Western people using the term guru takes away the value of the word. But once again, I bet not a single Hindu or Buddhist has put a complaint in. Next for the chop is the word brave but there is no given alternative. You just can't say brave. And the reason given is that apparently brave is a term referring to indigenous peoples as courageous, noble savages, such as Native American braves. I see a problem with this though, because the word brave derives from the Latin barbarous that was used long before Christopher Columbus rocked up in the new world. Brave means courageous or bold. And if we get rid of the word, well, Iron Maiden's album Brave New World is now Nothing New World, and Mel Gibson's, Mel Gibson's award-winning film is now called Nothing Heart. And more to the point, if we take the American national anthem and take out the word brave, the last two lines read, over the land of the free and the home of the. Man hours is to be replaced with person hours or effort hours because having the word man in the phrase reinforces an outdated sexist patriarchal society where people with penises oppress those who don't have them. Although in the modern world there are plenty of men with dicks who claim that they're women. Prostitute is to be replaced with a person who engages in sex work because that person should not be defined by his or her profession. However, I would argue that sex work, there's more than one job there. There's a world of difference between someone with an OnlyFans account, uh, maybe a fetish model, a stripper, a pole dancer, and a prostitute. Because if I were to introduce a girlfriend to my parents, see how different this is. Mother, father, this is Jenny. Occasionally she wears PVC fetish gear and gets paid to be photographed. Or mother, father, this is Jenny a crystal meth addicted toothless hooker. The phrase kill two birds with one stone is being replaced with accomplish two things at the same time because apparently killing two birds with one stone normalizes the mistreatment of animals. Has anyone ever thought that? You can hear the birds there now. If someone said to me kill two birds with one stone I wouldn't pick up a flint and loz it at them. Besides which this is coming from Stanford University in America. They wouldn't kill two birds with a stone, they get a gun and blow the fucking heads off. The term trigger warning is being replaced with content notes because trigger warning can actually trigger people. It induces anxiety as they don't know what's coming up. Now that's been proved to be true. However, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not. As soon as people realize that content note means the same as trigger warning, it'll have exactly the fucking same effect. And finally, from a university in California, USA, the term American is to be replaced with US citizen because there are 42 countries that make up the Americas and for people from the USA to call themselves American implies they are more important than all the other countries in the area. 
I have never met an American who didn't think the USA was the greatest country on earth. That brings us to the end of this video, an exercise in wokeness, changing the language to appease complaints that haven't been made. I apologise for the wind, and I apologise that my camera's been down here for most of the video, but it's my first day back at work, and my shoulders are fucking killing me. As ever, thanks for watching.